so I kind of like this movie hi guys uh, welcome to my channel if you are new welcome back if you've hung out with me before thank you so much for clicking and watching and hanging out with me for a few minutes today if you haven't guessed already we are on movie number 20 the aristocats this is one of my all-time favorites i've loved it since i was little and just about a little over a year and a half ago um started getting really into Marie, which was awesome because just a few weeks after that, Marie merchandise was found everywhere and it still can be found everywhere. It's awesome. So that is why I have all of these things. And this doesn't even include all my Marie pins that I have over there. So you could say that I love this movie, that Marie is one of my favorite characters, so much so that I have my own little Marie. She's lying on my bed right now. Her name is Scarlett, Scarlett Marie, and she is adorable. Um, if you've seen a few of my other videos, um, she has made an appearance, and today is all about her doppelganger. Um, you might meet her later on in the video, and there she goes, playing with my tripod. So anyways, let's get into The Aristocats. So this movie was released December 24th, 1970. So Christmas Eve, like what a great way to celebrate Christmas Eve or Christmas or just the holidays in general. Then to watch a Disney movie, especially one just so full of fun and songs and cute little animals. So something I found really, really interesting that I had no idea um, was a thing, is this film, the story, was based on a true story <laughs> that happened in 1910. Um, there's a family of cats uh, in Paris who ended up inheriting a very big fortune. So I don't know much further into that, like if they were ever actually like stolen um, or what, but the tr there is truth behind a family of cats inheriting a fortune. So being that this was released in 1970, this was the last feature that Walt Disney ever approved. Um, so he never worked on it, but he it was the last one that he approved. Um, and then it was the first animated feature to be entirely finished and worked on um, without him. With that said though, I think that they did such a good job with it um you know the animation looks incredible the character designs the characters themselves the music is absolutely wonderful i have it on my phone and i listen to it all the time so it's just overall just such a great film which is why i think i and so many people love it and especially like someone like marie um you know so many people end up loving her and the other characters in this film so something i found really cool was toulouse and berlioz are actually named after two famous french artists one being a painter slash illustrator and one being a famous composer that is why they have their own little like talents so this movie, like I said, I love it. So I know so many people that love it um, for so many different reasons. I know a lot of it has to do with this little kitty here. Um, but it's just such a fun movie. Um, and just watching it, the like I, I mentioned the music, um, just from the opening credits. The opening credits get you in the mood for this movie. You know it's going to be set in Paris. Um, you know that's gonna be about these cute little kittens and their mama. You know, you end up meeting this family of cats and they all have their own little personalities and they're just so adorable and you fall in love with them right away. You meet all the characters and end up just kind of loving everyone except for Edgar, um, who at first you're just like, okay, he's just like this harmless, kind of grumpy, um, or 
like cynical <laughs> um, butler. Then you find out he has this like kind of evil plan um, to kidnap the kittens because he finds out that they're gonna get all of the fortune and nothing's gonna go to Edgar <laughs> and he gets really upset which I understand but still you shouldn't take it out on these poor innocent little cats so it happens he kidnaps them or catnaps them <laughs> um, and then you just follow them along on their adventure to get back home and you end up meeting Thomas O'Malley who helps them get home he's like this cool tough street cat and he helps them on their journey home and through that you know they're running into meeting all these different characters like the geese I love the geese they're so cute and so funny and while all that's happening you know there's like the side story with Edgar and um, Napoleon and Lafayette the dogs you know, their whole little like feud going on and they're hilarious the dogs uh, and eventually they through all of their craziness make it back home <sighs> thank goodness um so yes that's kind of Aristocats in a nutshell I know obviously there's a lot more that happens but I just kind of wanted to talk more about a few of the facts and just my love for it and Marie so I have a lot of stuff I have my little like Marie pin that I got this one is not like a Disney pin trading one. This is just from Box Lunch. I have my cute little Marie necklace. I have my little patch that I put on here. And then of course my crazy beanie. <laughs> I love it so much. And then I have all this cool stuff behind me. I have three different bags. Um, my cute one, you can't really even see over here, but it's a cute little like side body bag. I have my Dooney, um, which it's not just the Aristocats or just Marie, it's like all Disney cats, but I love it so much. Um, and then I have my trusty backpack that I always, like, I use all the time. Most of this I got in the parks or at a Disney store. Yeah. <laughs> and then like I mentioned, I do have all my Marie pins too, which I'm going to do a pin haul update soon because a lot has happened since my last one. So. Keep an eye out for that and other videos coming soon. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Like, comment, um, let me know if you are just as obsessed with Marie as I am or what Disney character are you obsessed with. Um, and yeah, let me grab Scarlet. <laughs> and then here's my Scarlet. She has a bow like Marie. <laughs> like you can't even tell like... Hi. All right. So this is Scarlet Marie. Um, <laughs> hi. So anyways, thank you guys so much. It really means a lot that you guys are subscribing and clicking and watching. Okay. Um, uh, thank you so much and have a beautiful, magical, wonderful day. Okay. Mwah.